देवाक गुरुवारी अंक मलगड अंक साष्टांग प्रणाम कोरनो आई चे एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप कॉन्क्लेव का यौन पावी ले तुमका सर्वां का विश्व कंकड़ी केंद्र आतर पे ना स्वागत है अनि मेगे ले मौका चे नमस्कार हो सिंस टाइम इम्मेमोरियल वी द रेसिडेंस ऑफ वेस्ट कोस्ट रीजन सिंस टाइम इम्मेमोरियल वी द रेसिडेंस ऑफ वेस्ट कोस्टन रीजन्स वी कॉल देम कंकनीज वी आर रेसिडेंस ऑफ कंकन बेल्ट आर ट्रेडिशनली सी फेरर्स एंड आर एक्सपर्ट इन सी ट्रेड एंड द कनेक्ट गोज अप टू मिडल ईस्ट एंड सम यूरोपियन पार्ट्स दैट इज दैट सेज द हिस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइनर पोर्ट्स थ्रू आउट द वेस्ट कोस्ट दैट मे बी द रीजन बट चेंज द सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल इक्वेशंस हैज ट्रिगर्ड fourth migration today our uh, youngsters are again in a migration process silently throughout india and across the world it is the vision of our prime minister to see india as the third largest economy by 2035 that is the level of prosperity we are going to gain in the next 10 years and it is the humble intention at world konkani center to see that out of that enriched bharat a konkani person should be in the top 10 of our country that is the reason for which we are working for that and the world konkani center you know it is for the konkani people by the way konkani people are around 0.19% of our indian population and they spread across three religions and over 40 dialects of which substantial portions are non saraswats it is the dream of our founder late basti vaman shenai about setting up a vishwa konkani kendra which got materialized in the year 1995 upon uh, first vishwa konkani sammelana which had a surplus of around 15 lakhs by which he acquired the land and in the year 2005 foundation stone for vishwa konkani kendra was laid and it is the philanthropist our uh, patron p dayanand pai and p satish pai who actually supported setting up of the world konkani center by contributing 1 crore and the world konkani center got inaugurated in the year 2009 in the year 2010 visionary of our community padmashri tv mohandas pai on a casual visit he came to vishwa konkani kendra and his vision was if the language and culture is to be flourished and developed then our youth should be provided with higher education and accordingly the vision 2030 has been formed so that by the year 2030 no konkani youth is deprived of higher education for want of money and that is how vishwa konkani scholarship program for engineering and medical started and i am glad to say that today a sum of 38.4 crores has been disbursed that is a non refundable scholarship to the konkani youth not only the disbursal of scholarship a training program called kshamata in a year 6 days program for the these scholarship beneficiaries was imparted and today as of now around 52000 man hours of training program has been given to all these youth we have a 2000 strong alumni network and 500 and odd active scholarship beneficiaries as of now and the alumni previous year have contributed over 50 lakhs as a alumni pledge for the scholarship program the program of alumni prerana is being conducted every year so that from world over the alumni are coming and they are conducting various programs under the prerana brand a hostel block was inaugurated in the year 2011 donated by tv mohandas pai that is uh, housing around 65 students then which is very much essential to give training and other things and for residential purpose of the students again a program called you get in for the final year degree students of coastal karnataka government colleges and ca power 25 has been initiated by our patron shri k ullas kamath and it is doing wonderful 
success. CA Power 25 has, has given as much as 51% success rate for those who have attended it. Besides this, Vishwakonkani Kendra is supporting awards for language, literature work, and social service, which is again supported by TV Mohandas Pai in the name of his parents. Appointing Konkani teachers is a biggest challenge because the government has made third language from sixth standard onwards, Konkani, for which there are no teachers appointed by the government. So Vishu Konkani Kendra is appointing the teachers for all these schools where this Konkani is being taught and their salary is also paid by Vishu Konkani Kendra to promote the Konkani language in the schools. <laughs> A live stream studio has been formed some three, two years back and over thousand YouTube videos are there in the content. Besides live streaming studio, there is a sophisticated library, central hall of excellence and an auditorium which is housing all requirements of Konkani people to conduct the program there, not for commercial use but for the purpose of development of Konkani language and culture. And we have a plan to have a UPSC initiative in the year 2024 to see that at least every year, at least one or two Konkanis are there in the final IAS selection process. <laughs> Network with the like-minded organizations like Saraswat Chamber and uh, UK and Co. and Kendra Chamber of Commerce and Industry is also being done. And there is a social initiative called Samahita, Samajahita, which is like identifying a gifted child. Through Mensa International, we have conducted that exercise and we have identified 10 children in that particular scheme. Women Entrepreneurship, Udyam Prerana for college-going girls. These are some of the programs covered there. And of course, with the Kendra Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we had a one family-managed business promotion, uh, family-managed business uh, program. Our Vishwa Konkani Kendra is managed by Konkani Bhas Ani Samskriti Pratishtan, a trust registered under Indian Trust Act. It is having a recognition of 12A and 80G of Income Tax Act. It is CSR compliant and is having FCRA registration accredited. The members of the Konkani Bhasani Samskriti Prasishan elect trustees once in three years and the trustees will in, in turn elect president, secretary and treasurer. With these words and aspiring to see that Konkani people prosper throughout Sarvanka Devbar Karmansangun Mail Dunu Tarabaita.